So as a scientist, it's important that we're able to talk with people about the work we do. And that's why I'm here today with Gia to talk a little bit about our work at Baylor College of Medicine. Tell me about your research. All right. Well, before I start telling you about my research, maybe I can ask you a couple questions and you can kind of guess what I do. So what's the first thing that a baby has to do after it's born? Mm. You're doing it right now and so am I. Talk? Yeah, it's part of talking. They don't talk, but they cry. You know why they cry? Because they got to take that first breath. So my laboratory is very interested in how the brain develops to control how you breathe. And what's interesting about that for us is that all has to happen while the baby is growing. So can a baby after it's born walk? No, it has to learn that later. But it has to know how to breathe before it's born. So that immediately after being born, it can take that first breath. And we're trying to understand those steps towards development that set everything up so that baby can take the first breath. How did you decide to research that? When I was in school, I liked to try to understand everything. And one of the fundamental questions uh, that I has always been in my mind forever was, you know, how is the body put together? How is it organized? And I always thought about what's the most complicated thing in the body? And that's the brain. Why do we have brains? That's a great question. And in fact, this is something I ask my students at the beginning of almost all my lectures. Why do we have a brain? And it's because it's really important for us to take in information from the outside world to determine whether that what we see is important and if it's important is it helpful to us or is it dangerous to us and then decide what to do and that is all what your brain does. Do boys and girls have different types of brains? For the most part, no. There are thought to be some very specific differences but overall, in the big picture of things, whatever a girl or a woman can do or is the same as what a man or a boy can do. What does the brain do when you're sleeping? That's a fantastic question. So when you're laying in bed, your brain actually tries to shut down all the parts that are used to hear, uh, to see, to taste, and to give your whole body some quiet time. So it actually changes into a completely different state. And when you're in that state, it's really important to get rest. And if you don't get enough rest, then when you're awake, your brain isn't working as well as it could. If you stay up late, does your brain mess up a little bit? It can. 